Hey guys, this is Hartwood and in this video I will show you how to overclock your laptop's GPU to squeeze out some extra FPS for your next gaming session even if you're having a lower end model with a slower GPU. Please note that even though we will proceed carefully I won't take any responsibility if you damage your hardware because of overclocking. If you're in a hurry and don't want to watch the whole video, just download MSI Afterburner and raise your core clock and memory clock by a few dozen megahertz and see how that works for you. Still watching? Good. First be aware that laptop GPUs aren't exactly designed for overclocking. Your laptop's cooling system might just not be strong enough to handle the extra megahertz we're gonna apply to your GPU. Therefore, it's really important that you proceed very slowly and carefully and step by step. Before we begin, you should update your GPU drivers and download and install an overclocking tool of your choice. Personally, I would recommend MSI Afterburner or EVGA Precision. Both will do the trick, no matter which brand your laptop has. By the way, I'm only referring to NVIDIA cards in this tutorial as they produce the vast majority of mobile GPUs. Once installed, start one of those tools and before you begin overclocking, try to find out what your maximum GPU temperature is after a few minutes of intense gaming. This way we can determine if your GPU temperature has some reserves left. If the absolute maximum temperature stays below 80 degrees Celsius, you should be good to go. Try to raise both core clock and memory clock by 10 to 15 MHz and then test again. If it's stable, raise by another 10 to 50 MHz and so on. In my example, I used my Lenovo Z570, which has a GeForce 840M, and I was able to safely raise the core clock by 90 MHz and the memory clock by about 150 MHz without my GPU getting above 78 degrees Celsius and being stable all the time without crashing. It took me a few tries to find those values, and your optimal values could differ very much from mine. If your GPU temperature is already at 85 without overclocking, don't proceed, it might just get too hot. I know there are many people out there that say don't overclock your laptop, it's dangerous and in addition it won't speed up your laptop in any way. Well, I can agree with the danger part. But in some cases you can actually not only prove but even feel the extra FPS. Now let's have a look at some examples and comparisons. I started with a plain 3D Mark score comparison and it turned out to boost my system by a whooping 15%. I repeated those tests to make sure the difference was caused by the overclocking and not some mistakes in measuring. After that I made a few in-game tests starting with Pump G, which turned out to also increase my FPS by an average 10-15%. Please note that recording reduced my frame rate by 10 to 15% as well, so the actual FPS would be higher. And for me, overclocking on my laptop can actually make the difference between playable and not playable for PUBG. As for most games, 30 FPS is the minimum that you should have. After that, I made a few in game tests with The Witcher 3, and once again, I was able to get around 10 to 15% more FPS. Without recording, the difference is even around 5 FPS. As we can see, even in scenes where the CPU is a bottleneck and under full load all the time, we still get an increase of 10 to 15%, which is really nice. The same applies to GTA 5. The frame rate drops you see in this video are because of my hard drive as I didn't install it on my SSD. But the overall average FPS benefits a lot from overclocking as well.
And last but not least, I also tested Assassin's Creed Origins and once again, the overclocking is uh, the sweet spot which makes the game playable for me on my laptop. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe my channel. See you soon!